Friends, we are standing right before the complete, total, final redemption. Do you know that this is unbelievable? This will blow your mind. Science, quantum physics, the greatest science that exists, the stuff that makes the universe time and space, which pretty much is everything, matter, whatever it is. Quantum physics says, and I wouldn't really believe it from quantum physics because it's too crazy, but because Judaism, Jewish mysticism, I feel, says this too, I believe it. The future created the past. I know it sounds crazy, but in the words of Judaism, Jewish mysticism, God looked into the future and he saw you and me this very day, this very moment. And he took such pleasure, such pride, such love in you, in me, that his heart was filled with so much emotions that he created everything. And what did he see that's so lovable about us? And that's the secret. The most lovable thing about someone, think about who you love the most, a baby. I was just walking towards my synagogue and there were three little kids, literally what we call a pram, or uh, I forgot, I lived in South Africa for a long time, a baby carriage. And they're like, hey, hi. Doesn't your heart melt when you see a little kid? Aren't they the cutest? So what did he see? He saw us. We don't have to be something besides ourselves. We are exactly what we need to be. Pesach is about freedom. What are we getting free from? We're getting free from not being ourselves, from being a slave to Egyptian society, to American society, to Gentile society, to any kind of society that says you have to be like this. This is a definition of a human being. You know, unfortunately, reform started in um, Germany. You can see how well that helped the Jews there. And Moses Mendelssohn, who was a founder of Reform, they had a terrible statement, horrific statement, but I'm going to say it to bring out the point. They said, Ish bebeisai, sorry, Yehudi bebeisai ve ish bebeisai. Be a Jew in your home. He was actually an Orthodox Jew. But be a man outside. In other words, they didn't appreciate that being a Jew is being a man. Who brought humanity who brought compassion? As Paul Johnson, one of the greatest historians, writes, all the sacred things in the world, everything special, the idea that we're all equal under the law, the idea of human rights, the idea of the preciousness of life, the sacredness of marriage, the sacredness of children, education, these are all Jewish ideas. They come from you. They come from your religion. They come from your God. And they're so, they're just in our DNA. So let's not seek some Gentile somewhere to validate us. We don't need their validation. In fact, they're looking to us for, not validation, but they're looking to us for wisdom, for guidance. I don't know if you know this, but in America, this is unbelievable. The religion, never mind the people most respected, the religion that's most respected, this is Pew Polls, is Judaism by 70%. I couldn't believe it. Judaism is the most respected religion. So the point is, we have to respect ourselves. We are the kingdom of priests. God took us out of Egypt and he says, I, I, I love you. You're going to represent me to the world. There was a Russian writer, many very brilliant Russian men, great writers. And he once said, you know, if you're not looking for the truth and you see a Jew, you don't see anything. But if you're looking for the truth and you see a Jew, you see everything. Happy Pesach.